See the way the image of the country has come up in the whole world. Hindus are 55 percent in Canada. They don't have to go to any other religion if they are able to get all the Hindus together, which they are not able to do. In all respect to the CM, I feel he has been misguided by the people around. Why Prime Minister is required? Why Prime Minister is required for this? The worst part, part of it is the taxes. For constructing <laughs> Kochi Metro, do you know how much tax we have paid? The concept of Kerala is excellent. It is required. You are required from north to south a very quick, fast mode of rail travel. And that was done also. I prepared a, a project report for a high speed railway line from Kandu to Trivandrum. Only thing is, when this government came, they said it is very high, costly, it is costly, takes time. We want only a semi speed and that will be put on the ground. The, my proposal was either it is in a tunnel or elevated. So that minimum acquisition and people are not. There is, it doesn't become a, a, a barrier, barrier right through. That was not accepted. Now what is happening? Neither that has come, nor this has come. Okay. And we are losing, it's a great loss to, 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 to the state. The project, the DPR they prepared was not acceptable for, by anyone. Only because they don't have the expertise. Regarding the silver line, uh, there were uh, some criticism. Uh, regarding the DPR, saying that uh, in some place it will divide Kerala into two, then there will be water logging at some places, flooding. Uh, so, <coughs> do you think uh, all these arguments stand? Absolutely, they are correct. In fact, I only started this argument. If you put a, a, a semi speed line or high speed line on the ground, what happens? You have to coordinate it off completely. They were, they were planning to construct walls on either side. Then this Kerala will be divided into East Kerala, West Kerala. How will people cross? When that question was raised, they said we'll provide every every half a kilometer flyover. What about the cost of that? Huge cost, flyover cost. Even then, this segregation. This will affect mostly the drainage of the. The Kerala, the whole drainage is from east to west, and that you are blocking by a, a China wall. That is not correct. Uh, you are talking about an underground. Uh, Either underground, I am not talking about underground. Either underground or elevated. Okay. Yeah. Most of most of it will be elevated. Uh, but the construction cost will be very high for that. No, no. They have not tried it. One of the things you require more of memo trains, multiple electro electric multiple units required. Mainland multiple electric units, they are called. They are required. There are plenty of capacity in the country to produce them. But what the reason why the government insisted on this particular alignment, particular form of... Uh, I would, uh, in all respect to the CM, I feel he has been misguided by the people around. He has been misguided by the officials, particularly both IAS officers as well as KR diesel officers. They are not properly briefed. What are the problems? How it is to be done? How, how, how to get over these problems? You had a very good equation with the Pinaray Vijayan at one point of time, very right? good rapport. He was praising you everywhere in the speeches. And you were also had good words about him. But what went wrong? Like, uh, why, 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 what happened in your equation? <laughs> I think uh, we should not. <laughs> <I> should not. <laughs> it's, it's, everybody knows what has gone wrong. <laughs> it's not. You are in still in touch. Huh? With, you are in, in, uh, in touch with him. I am very confident. If I want, I can get an appointment from me anytime. 
He has got a good soft quarter, even now for me, personally. Anytime I can want to talk to him, I can talk to him. I can see him if I want. If he calls you for an advice, will you be able to, will you give him? Huh? If, if, huh? He, if he calls, if he calls me for any particular advice, I'll give an advice which is good for the state. Okay. Certainly. I will not accept it. Otherwise, why should I take at the Palai Rotom Bridge? Mm -hmm. right. You know the Palai Rotom Bridge and what shape it was? Yes. Even by that time I was estranged from I was estranged from him by that by that time itself. When he started the work of Nelambu Nanjangot Railway Line, the Trivandrum Metro, Kojikot Metro and one or two other projects when he stopped, at that time, that was a breaking point. I came away. Mm. Uh, I don't want to do any more. Mm. But when Padaji Vattamriji, he sent word to me, please come and see me. Mm. I knew it was for Padaji I went, gave him the required assistance, how it is to be done, and got it done. Mm. Without charging a pie to the state, Padaji Vattamriji, we did no money was given by the state. Mm -hmm. The MRC did it with the surplus money we had from the government. Okay. And that was done in five months and ten days. And even now if you go over the bridge, you'll find the difference. That flyover and some of the flyovers um, uh, considered by the state government. Do you see the difference? We, we were able to stop the KRL the way it was planned. Only because of my efforts. And <laughs> CM knows that very well. <laughs> he even mentioned in one meeting. I don't know, it wasn't the suffice self. He said, we were all about to start it, but one great man went and stopped it. <laughs> he mentioned that. Knowing that Yes, I could give convincing reasons. Yes, not lot of that. respect for you. Still, that's what. Huh? Yes, a lot of respect for you. Sir. Yes, I convincing reasons why that project in that present form should not be allowed. I was not against the, um, the line at all. You think the current state government? Um, uh, it's in the, it, it is the, it's in the second term right now, in Rajiv Gandhi government. Does it have any vision for? Do you think? Do you see any vision? Do you think they have any vision for Kerala? Think they, they working for uh, the betterment of uh, Kerala or its people? Is it happening? They have one vision: to convert Kerala into a communist state. That's the only vision I find. Otherwise. During the last six, seven years, the two, this, this LDF is in power. Show me one good infrastructure project that started and completed. One. Start there. On the other hand, I can show you a dozen good projects that have blocked and stopped. Meant for people, good, they stopped it. So, uh, the development is not taking place here. We are not feeling it because, as I tell, a lot of subsidies, free rice, everything, a lot of free houses, free rice, so many things are coming here. People are not feeling it. And money, people, money coming from outside. Every family has got one or two people outside. Money is coming. They are, people are not feeling it. But this is, as I, as I to, told you, it's a glass house. It looks very nice, bright from outside. Inside, we, we have nothing. So what kind of a political system uh, you, you prefer? See, uh, we have a, a divided between two old, uh, firms and ruling for the last uh, Mm. Years. Mm. So what kind of change and uh, what uh, kind of change you uh, foresee? So will this people continue forever or uh, whether there will be any change in the in the, the contours of politics? Uh, change is inevitable here. Mm. Inevitable. That has to come. 
You see, people have now they have come to power. They should cease to be politicians. Then they should be statesmen. What is needed for the for the state? Good of the people, not concerned only what is good for the party. That attitude has changed. Now, people in Kerala are fed up now with both LDF and UDF. They are fed up. So an alternative has to come, and it is an inevitable. But uh, I am not talking because I am. Uh, I have joined. Uh, <laughs> BJP, not because of that. This is obvious for anyone. But BJP is not rising up to the occasion uh, because uh, you see, there is an ample opportunity for a party which is uh, ruling uh, at the centre. So, what is lacking in the party? Is it the B? Is it the leadership? Uh, is it the cadre? Or is it uh, the the, the uh, geographical equations uh, in Kerala? Actually, I don't like to get into this uh, subject. <laughs> BJP, why BJP is not doing well? We have now. I can only tell you, we have diagnosed what is wrong, what needs to be done, what needs to be done, and we have got enough time. To rectify many things. Can you do more? Can you do more? We, everybody has realized now what is wrong, and I am very confident we'll be able to get over all these things. Yes, very confident. And the way BJP is going to work here after will be entirely slightly different from. What it was doing earlier, somehow um, BJP has got BJP means RSS. People think that, which is not at all correct. And what is wrong with the RSS? That's also people don't. People have started no feeling that RSS is a good organization. They are people who love the country, prepared to do anything for the country. That. Oh, change of this is coming now. What I can understand is, Muslim League is not a, a communal party. RSS is a communal party. These are all prepared, made by media mostly. The common man knows it's not correct, and there are certain ideological. Um, Theories people don't want to leave. They stick on to the ideological uh, theories. It will change. It will change. But with all the the uh, uh, resources, uh, all the support from the center, nothing happens. <laughs> Because the, all the support and thing given by the center. Is shown as a, is uh, uh, is because of the state government. Mm. The state government claims whatever they do is theirs, which is not the case. Money is coming from the center for everything. So the campaign machinery of the BJP has failed in this. I know BJP is not able to project to the people mm. what central government has done for them. Now that has been taken up seriously by them. When, it will when you uh, last time, last election, the no, BJP state person will, uh, we heard him saying that we will fetch uh, three thirty-five, thirty seats. But in the end, uh, what you know, we, what what happened? Hmm. So, so was there any any problem with the strategy? It was a problem with the strategy. The problem with the the, the whole working was done. Uh, all that has got to be rectified. And you were almost, I think it was one one of the uh, sure victories that was predicted before the election, but you lost very narrowly. So what what happened? Do you like do you think that the votes changed and like the CPM votes went to the Congress candidate, something like that? But that was a theory that was put out after the election. No, wherever to tell you I mean a simple language, wherever the uh, the LDF or UDF, they were very sure that 
बीजेपी वुड विन एट दैट प्लेस दे कंबाइंड अगेंस्ट बीजेपी दैट द सिंपल ट्रूथ दे हैव आइडेंटिफाइड द प्लेस आई अदर वाई शुड सुरेश गोवी क्लोज वाई शुड आई लूज आई वॉज ए न्यू एंट्रेंट they knew that all these places bjp will win so there was an under understanding the the two ldf and palgat i know clearly well that there was an understanding i was cautioned mm -hmm. by the media right from day one that there is an understanding i will come out only last uh, to the end So such things will happen again. It will happen again, but you have to find a way out. To, that doesn't happen. Mm. We have to find a find a find a way out. We have to find out. In Kerala, around twenty-eight percent of population are Muslims. Mm. Uh, BJP is still uh, an untouchable for them. Mm. So now the RSS has started the uh, uh, process of initiating dialogue with. Uh, different uh, muslim groups national level so do you think uh, that kind of a strategy is needed in kerala also <coughs> certainly will be needed <laughs> you see <laughs> actually bjp hindus are 55% in kerala they don't have to go to any other religion if they are able to get all the hindus together which they are not able to do for various reasons that has that has got to be tried and if uh, people understand that if the bjp comes to power then the better <coughs> government can be expected they will change their mind what is wrong with india's politics hmm? what is wrong with according to you hmm. what are, according to you what is wrong with the politics in india that politics yes I think it's nothing wrong. No, okay. it's going all so well. See the way the image of the country has come up in the whole world. Okay. Everybody respects, and uh, uh, people respect even uh, our political system. Have you seen the statement of yesterday's paper? I think one statement. But there is the, this talk about toler intolerance growing. That uh, you know communalism. Mm. Uh, it's not. Be, it's not the secular country anymore. Don't you do you agree with all, all this? They are all absolutely wrong. Wrong. They are all wrong propaganda, really speaking. Where is intolerance? Where is the intolerance? I would like to know where is the intolerance. Here. Huh? And where is the secularism lost? I don't think the country has been ruled in such an excellent fashion so far, ever since we got independence. In my firm belief, it has been done, but much more could have been done also. Little more could have been done. Right. So, will you contest the election next time? No, because of age, only age. Only by age. If uh, BJP wants you to, eh? BJP wants you to contest. Uh, I don't think I will agree. My children want to get out. <laughs> <laughs> So, do you think it's being managed well right now? Because now one, one former IPS uh, officer is heading right now in the mayor of Kuch Metro. Uh, so, do you think it's managed properly or is this? Uh, You no, know, I will not particularly blame Mr. Bahra. He has come only recently, right from the beginning. Um, the management was not very good, right from the beginning. First of all, to start with, they didn't want to to be handed over to DMRC. You know, there's a lot of troubles and the uh, uh, human chain and so many uh, agitators. People are jittering for DMRs to come, and many things which we wanted to do, to be done in a simple way, they wanted in a grandier, big way. The worst thing that was done was DMRs had its own organisation. It was responsible for everything. 
designs, drawings, procurement, contracts, everything we were responsible. But at that time, why Kmart had a similar huge organization? There got a lot of left and right people. Why did they have three directors and four directors? When DMS was doing all the work and they were simply sitting and watching. That time onwards, they were spending, overspending. No country in the world expects a metro to make a profit. No country, only our country. It's a wrong policy. Metro is a social necessity. In a big city like that, people who travel fast, metros are required. You can't expect that travel to be profitable. All other modes of traffic in the country, all other modes, except railway and metro, all the uh, traffic, you find the government sp um, spends the money entirely for the infrastructure. For example, road traffic. Roads are built by the government, maintained by the government. Airways. All the airports are constructed by the government. The, uh, the plane owner is not constructing this. Shipping. All ports are constructed by the government. But why only railways and metros only should construct the entire cost, entire cost? The worst part, part of it is the taxes. For constructing <laughs> Kochi Metro, do you know how much tax we have paid? Why should a, a facility meant for the people be taxed say 18%? And now with GST, every part of it is 80% you have to pay. Formerly only when you purchase steel, metal, only you pay tax. Now it's, it's a <laughs> common 18%. The Delhi Metro, when I started, it was tax free. No taxes we were paying in the first phase. That's why Delhi Metro was um, uh, making huge surpluses. I won't say profit, surplus. Mm -hmm. To pay back the money taker. Yes. It had no difficulty. Whereas Kochi Metro will not be able to pay back the money they have borrowed. If you were the managing director of KMR, what suggestion would you put forward to reduce the loss which they are incurring every day? First of all, I reduce the tariff. Up to like the minimum is 20. Eh? The minimum tariff is 20 and the maximum is 60. Uh, so, eh? what will be your suggestion? Minimum 20 now, is it? Yeah. For how many stations? I don't know. I think uh, two or three stations. Two, two stations. Two stations or three? Two. My own feeling is I would have reduced the tariff at least by 30-40% across. More people come. More people come. And more than that, getting the phase two, phase two should be should have been commissioned by this time. And phase two also comes, just imagine what will be with the revenue. The biggest mistake they had done was starting phase two late. And giving an, imp giving an impression that Metro is losing heavily. Metro will lose heavily to start with, any Metro. Unless the, the, the network spreads, more passengers go, start. If, if for a Metro to be financially successful, the thumb rule is at least one lakh passengers for each line. At least. You, you must know about water metro, right? Eh? Water metro, Kochi water metro. Huh. But it's not started yet. So. Why? <laughs> it's an excellent project. Excellent project. Everything is ready, I'm told, yeah, for the last yeah. six months. Right. Waiting for somebody to inaugurate. Why? Why? Huh? I have inaugurated a line in Delhi metro by an employee of DMRC. You don't wait. Prime Minister was the Chief Minister was the I did not wait for any one of them. And the senior most employee of Delhi Metro inaugurated that line. Big line. Why one day lost? How much money you are losing? 
ऑटोमेट रो यू गॉट टेन बोर्ड आइडली यू आर लूसिंग सो मच रेवेन्यू वाई पीपल आर नॉट थिंग इन टर्म्स ऑफ दिस एंड आई एम श्योर मिस पिनाई विजयन इज नॉट गोइंग टू बस्ट बिकॉज इट हेज स्टार्टेड रेडियो विथ थॉट इज एंड आई डोंट थिंक ही इज इन सिट समबडी कनेक्टेड विथ हिम इज वॉन्टिंग दिस पीपल अराउंड हिम और the mr bahra himself wants it it is also talking to they waiting for prime minister to come why prime minister is required why prime minister is required for this sir sir people of kochi are asking that's for people of kochi are asking yeah this is meant for kochi people prime minister sitting in delhi will definitely appreciate if it is the donor in time if it started at that let me say a simple thing so many jetties are ready what do i want to spend on that so many boats are ready people have been reported how much expenditure are they getting by way of only interest on the investment how much they are wasting and that that is one that will make profit the amount they are losing profit catastrophe disaster there is no doubt about it years of neg- neg- negligence years of negligence there is no point in blaming the corporation if you see the way the lsgd the uh, um, the um, um, panchayats and uh, 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 this corporations are working municipal they have no powers at all they are being held by the government on every issue this when i was doing the uh, handling the delhi metro uh, kochi metro the company who got the, the approval for setting my factory for de- handling this um, Uh, in in Kochi, that company's name was huh? G J Power. G okay. J Power was given a award, a contract was awarded to set up a plant to not only to take away the legacy already accumulated thing, but all the new gar- gar- garbage coming they were given for one and a half month, one and a half years. the land was not handed over to them one and a half years why who is responsible for that these are the people to be taught they were not given the land with the result the gj power had a um, technical and financial arrangement with the british company main power the the the, the technology is there britishers they when they found one and a half years nothing was happening they left learn the more when they left off the indian company could not raise money they are after they were running from pillar to post to raise the equity required for that government could help them after the amount in bond was so little they wanted only they wanted only a guarantee letter from the government to get money from the banks nobody was prepared to give it ultimately they failed the the contract was terminated there was no need to terminate the contract even then at that this was done about 2 or 3 years back we lost a good chance this is uh, uh, a government's total failure not this government alone for the last 10 15 years governments are, have failed to set up a proper uh, plan for this purpose now this is not the time to find fault with to um, um, fix up responsibility and things like that 
that can go on separately. Government should take bold steps to start it off straight away.